In this video, we shall discuss about a .NET internal feature, object pinning. First of all, what do we mean by that? Pinning an object means forcing the .NET object to stay at a fixed memory location without movement. From here itself, we get some idea. Who moves a .NET object from one generational heap to another? It is the GC, right? This we have explained in our previous discussions that after a GC operation, Gen0 objects, that is referred object, will be moved to Gen1 region and the unreferred Gen0 object will be picked by garbage collector. So in either way, the .NET objects which were situated at Gen0 will not be there at their old addresses because they are either moved or picked. But if you make a specific object as pinned, then GC will not collect or move that object from that generation region. This we can see from this pictorial representation. Consider this is Gen 0 before GC condition and the programmer made the object 3 as a pinned object. Then consider GC comes on this, GC will remove refer unreferred object and move referred objects but GC will not touch this third object, it will still stay at the Gen0 in their old address. Now, why we require this kind of pinning in .NET programming? That will be discussed. Let's discuss under what circumstances a developer would need to pin his managed objects. In the normal cases, like if the application is a fully managed one, he don't have to do that. But we also know there are situations .NET applications is been interacting with unmanaged components. We know that the unmanaged side of the application is not controlled by .NET CLR. So consider such a case that if an address, a managed object address is been passed to the unmanaged world of the application, then we need to pin the object before doing that. Otherwise, there is a good chance that application crash can happen. Let me explain this with a scenario. Consider a scenario, a .NET application is associated a unmanaged module for its printing purposes. Any data needs to be printed, it has to pass its address to this printing module. The object 2, which is lying in the Gen0 heap section of the .NET application, needs to be printed so its address is passed to the unmanaged module at 10 am. But consider the fact that the print module will print the object only 5 seconds later at 10 5 am. So meanwhile, think about a garbage collector happened on the Gen0 heap section at 10 3 am and collect the object 2. Garbage collector does not know the object 2 is been passed to the print module because garbage collector has no idea what is happening on the unmanaged section. It is purely a managed operation. So it can pick the object 2 so the object is not existing. Now consider after 2 seconds the printing got started and the unmanaged module is trying to access this object 2 which is not existing. This will result in application crash. So the whole problem happened because while doing this printing the garbage collector came in between and collected this object. The only way not to have this crash is garbage collector should not pick this object if the address is been moved to the unmanaged section. This is the necessity of pinning. If the object is been pinned, the garbage collector will not touch this object because it needs to be passed to the unmanaged module. It will skip the collection so the object will still exist in the same address which has been there so the unmanaged module can access this object. Now let's do this particular thing in a demo. Thank you.